Folks, how are you doing? So um, I, I thought this would be a great opportunity actually to start sort of a new series on this channel or maybe just a small series of video because uh, uh, over the years, a lot of people have asked me what all these instruments are and maybe if I could do videos on them just to explain how they work, what they actually are, what they're called and all that kind of stuff. And uh, I never really had time. And then recently I got a new instrument uh, and I posted it on social media and a lot of people were asking me, uh, what is this thing? Some people recognized what it was, but a lot of people didn't quite know. So I just thought I'd do a small video uh, to kickstart the series and then we can do more afterwards. The one I got here recently is this little beast. Uh, this is called a, a Hordy Gordy in English, at least. It's got a few different names. Um, None of them match in different languages. In, in French, it's called the Vielle Roux, um, which is sort of where it's, it's came, well, not came from, but it, it spread into a lot of European uh, countries uh, um, afterwards. But I think the origins go back to like the Byzantine Empire or it's got a Arabic influence and that kind of stuff and goes back to the 10th century. It's a very, very cool in little instruments. It was sort of ubiquitous when I grew up uh, in, in back in France. And uh, in Brittany, you'd see a lot of these uh, uh, being played in central France as well. Uh, it's essentially a, a mechanical bow. And uh, I'm just going to switch cameras here, but show you how it works. So the operation is actually pretty simple, all things considered. What you have, let me remove this. What you have here is a, a round wheel that uh, spins. Let me do this first. That just uh, spins as you're cranking this. Um, it just spins around. This is covered in rosin, what you'd find on uh, on uh, uh, fiddle bows. And uh, when it spins, it makes contact with one of the strings here. And the strings here is covered with uh, felt or wood, uh, wool or cotton, actually. Um, in this case, it's wool. And uh, well, what it does, it just makes contact with it and makes it vibrate. Makes this pretty cool sound. So um, here you can see there's four strings. So those two strings, the middle strings here, in this model, usually it's two strings or it can have three, uh, are in unison. And it, it just creates a wider, uh, richer sound. You can actually just uh, slightly have them perfectly in unison or slightly detuned to create that sort of phasing sound or a chorus. Um, I like them to have them perfectly in unison and then I can modify the uh, the sound in post-production but usually I just like my recordings to be clean. So I'll leave it like that. Perfect unison. And then you have the extra strings here. Um, before I go on, on to these, the, the cool thing about these is you can engage the strings or disengage them like that. Uh, I just want to talk about the fretboard here or what I call the fretboard. It's probably called something else. I don't quite know the terminology. Uh, but here is where the notes actually happen. And uh, we, we sort of have the, the white keys here in the bottom and the black keys here on the top. You know what I mean if you've played the piano. Um, and essentially what it does, you see those two bars here, it will actually shorten the length of the string here. So it will touch the string and shorten it. And uh, it just makes a note. The other thing is these two extra strings. So uh, these are just uh, 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 pedal strings, if you will. They just create one note that goes with it. It's sort of what you'd have in a, the, uh, the the drones of a bagpipe. And this one is in D. So you get that fifth. And uh, you don't always have to use them. Um, it, for the covers, I probably won't be using them, but really, uh, 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 it's cool to have. So there you go. This is a sort of a hybrid instrument, a medieval hybrid instrument of uh, guitar, violin, and a piano. Really, you got those keys as you'd have on a piano. You you got the uh, the uh, the bow action of a, a fiddle, and really the scale and and uh, 
approach of a, of a guitar, really. So, folks, there you go. This is the Hordy Gordy, a cool little instrument. Um, and uh, I can't wait to use it in a future video. Hopefully, uh, I'll get something out of it. Uh, but there you go. Folks, if you have a suggestion of a, a, an instrument you want me to talk about, so you've seen something in one of my videos or you're curious as to what's in the background, well, uh, well, first check in the comments because I'll add, if I've done it already, I'll add the uh, the link to the video in the, in the uh, description of the video. But uh, otherwise, just leave me a note in the comments. Just let me know, you know, I've seen this instrument at, you know, 1 minute 34 in this video, and uh, I I'll try and organize a, a video on it at some point. Um, this is my good resolution for the year. But folks, thank you for watching. I hope this was interesting, and, well, I'll see you very soon in the next cover.